In this Trading212 Investing Guide, I will show you everything you need to know to start investing with the 212 platform. That will include how you can start an account and which account you should choose, how to deposit money onto your account, either by bank transfer, credit card, or even Apple Pay, how to then buy stocks on the market, which can also be ETFs or index funds. I will then show you how you can sell these stocks in case you wish to, and how to then transfer that money back into your bank account in case you wanna take profits. I will also share some of my investment strategies as well as my actual Actual portfolio and then finally I will show you how you can earn up to 5% interest on the cash that you hold on the trading 212 platform which is quite high for these days so with that said after watching this video you'll be ready to start investing with trading 212 all right, so this is what the Trading212 app looks like. In order to land on the page that I'm currently at, which is the home page of the app, you do need an account. Now, signing up for an account is quite straightforward. Once you download the app, you simply enter your details, you verify your identity, and once they confirm that, which will be done within just an hour, you will be ready to start investing on your account. Now, when you wanna invest, the first step is depositing funds into your account. In order to do that, you want to click on the account value, which is simply the dollar sign amount or the pound sign amount or the euro sign amount, depending where you're from, at the top of the screen. For me, that is currently $40,534.64. Now, when you click on that right here, what you might notice is that for me, it says 212 invest, and then there's also 212 CFD. This is the type of account that you have on the Trading212 platform. Now, this is pretty basic. If you wanna invest into the stock market, I recommend taking a 212 investment account and not a CFD account, because this is about trading long and short with leverage, which is much more complicated than simple stock investing. So if you're not a beginner, I definitely do not recommend that you open a CFD account, but rather a 212 investment account. That is the best option for you. Now, that said, if you are from the UK and you're a resident there and you're 18 years and older, you might be able to open an ISA account. As I'm not in the UK, I'm not able to do that right now. But if you are, with an ISA account, you can invest up to £20,000 a year, which will then be tax optimized. So if you want to invest more or you're not from the UK, I recommend taking a normal 212 investment account like I have myself here as well. Once you have done that, you can start to deposit your money. To do that, click on the deposit funds button at the bottom of the screen and you'll land right here. Now I'm currently blurring out my bank transfer details as that is my actual bank account. However, for you, you wanna click on add new bank account. That is one of the options. I will discuss the other ones too as well. But my favorite method to deposit funds are bank transfers because it's totally free. There are zero fees. So click add bank account. Simply type in your account number and the SWIFT code and then click confirm. I've already done this, so I cannot do this again, but simply go through it, it's very simple and then click confirm. Your account will then show up. Once you then click on your account, you will see the bank details for trading 212's bank account, which is where you wanna deposit the money to. So simply go ahead, open your bank account, then send money to the details that show up on the screen and make sure you include the payment reference. I'm once again blurring my payment reference. However, that is showing up in blue squared icons. You want to take that number, copy it, and then paste it in the reference for the money that you send from your bank account to trading 212's bank account. It's just a normal wire like you would do to your friends or anyone else. And then you include that number as the payment reference. And that is basically how they can track that that money is coming from you and then deposit the money that you send them into your trading account. Now, what I like is that this works pretty fast. I'm sending money from the UAE into their bank account which is in the uk and it just takes about 30 minutes to hit the money on my investment account which is very fast especially if you think about the fact that there's no fees and it's totally free and that's how you deposit funds through bank transfer now there's two other options you can also deposit money through a credit card or through apple pay the downsides with that is that after depositing more than two thousand dollars in total there will be a 0.7% fee, which I do not like. I do not recommend that because 
Why would you be paying fees, especially if a bank wire just takes a couple of minutes and it's totally free? So yes, it is possible. Do I recommend it? Not really. So make that payment and then the money will hit your account. And here's what that will look like. So currently I have a account value of a little bit over $40,000. However, not all of that is invested into the stock market. My portfolio is worth $13,521.97. However, I also have free funds. Now, if you've just deposited money into your account on Trading212, your money will show up in the free funds section. This basically means it is still in cash. It is not invested yet. It's just on your account in cash and it's ready to be invested into the stock market. So with the free funds, you can buy stocks. Now, before I show you how you can buy a stock, I also want to tell you about the interest that you can earn on the cash that you hold in your account. Click on the free lines at the bottom right corner and then click interest on cash. You can earn up to 5%, 5.1% USD interest on the cash that you hold in your account. Now, how exactly that works and how it's possible, I will explain with a link in the description down below. Make sure you read that. It's actually quite important as it explains how you're able to earn 5% interest because that is quite high these days. So as you can see for me, I have turned this on a couple days ago. I currently have 27K in cash in my account. I'm earning 5.1% interest on that which daily comes down about $3.6. If you go to payments, you will see the history of that as well. So I've just turned this on a couple days ago. On the 15th, I earned $4.08, $3.82 and $3.67. So that is just a little side thing that you can turn on in case you wanna earn some interest on the cash that you hold. With all of that said, now is the time to show you how you can buy stocks on the platform. Now, by this time, I assume and I fully trust that you know the potential dangers that come with investing. I'm not going to recommend you any stocks. I'm not going to tell you that you should just click and buy. Obviously not. So what you want to do instead, click on the search icon in the middle and then you can search for any stock you want. Now, I've got this little dashboard, this little section where they will show you the most traded stocks, the most owned stocks, etc., which you can just scroll through. Now, that is quite funny to see. However, I do not recommend investing based on this. Make your strategy first and then start investing in the stocks that you like to buy. Now, if you want to purchase an individual stock, I will show you how to do that. I will also explain and show you how you can buy ETFs, which you can view as like a basket of stocks at once and index funds in case you want to do that. I will also reveal a bit of my personal strategy later on, but to buy an actual stock, click search and then simply search for the stock. So let's say I want to buy a Apple stock. I can search for Apple and that then shows up. Now, what you might see is that there's two different apples showing up in this case, and there's a lot more stuff showing up. Now, there's different markets, right, that you can invest in. You've got the German market, the Dutch market, the US market, the Japanese market, etc. Now, Apple stock might be trading on different markets at the same time. Now, Apple is showing up in the first place and the second place here. Both are Apple stock. The first one is on the NASDAQ, which is the US market. The second one seems to be the German market. So if I click on the NASDAQ one, you can see that Apple stock is valued at $226 as of right now. And this will be on the US market, which is why it will be in dollars. If I go back and I click on the second one, you can see it's 204 euros and 95 cents because it's on the German market and now it's in euros as that's what they use in Germany. So please note that you can buy an individual stock at different markets and that's why it might show up different. Now, the best way to purchase the correct one, and there's no right or wrong, it's just that you might want to buy the, uh, the American market version, right, is with the ticker. Now, the ticker are a combination of letters that show up at the bottom of the screen. So for the Apple one here on the Nasdaq market, the ticker is AAPL. For the German one, the Apple stock is APC. So based on that, you can figure out which is the correct one that you want to buy. I'm not going to recommend you which ones are better, whatever, if there's a difference at all, but do, do your proper research on which market you want to buy and why, and then make sure that you confirm that the ticker is indeed the correct one of which you want to buy. Now, let's say I want to buy the Apple stock on the NASDAQ, so AAPL. I would go to the stock and I would simply click on buy just like that. Now, here's where it gets interesting and here's why you actually buy the stock. You've got a couple different options to buy. I'll explain the two most common ones 
that are used the most, which is a market order, which is set to by default. Now, this is basically just you buying it right now from the market at the current price, pretty much instantly through the app. Now, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can buy a number of shares. So let's say I want to buy five shares of Apple. I can type in five and then you will see the price for that. Or I can just slide, which is also possible, right? Just like that. Or you can click on number of shares and then select value. So you can buy $1,000 worth of Apple stock, which you can type in. So if I type in 1,000, you will see that's 4.4 shares. Just like that, you can also slide this bar. And there you go. That's how that works. Now, that's a market order, which is just at current price. You purchase it and you will buy it instantly. And that's it. You can also click on limit, which is a limit order, which the system works the same. You can simply type it in. For example, if I want to buy 10 shares of Apple, that's it. However, instead of buying it at the current market price, I can set a price at which I want to buy. So the current price when the market closed was $226. Let's say I want to buy 10 shares of Apple at 225. I can type in 225. I can then make the order. And as soon as the value of the Apple stock hits 225, I can then buy 10 stocks. However, this is a little bit more complicated and it kind of depends on the investment strategy that you want to follow. Because for example, maybe Apple stock does not hit 225 ever again. You're not going to be able to buy the 10 stocks, right? So this is a little bit different. It depends on the investment strategy that you would like to follow. I just always buy market order since I'm usually just buying ETFs and I'm investing for the uh, long term. So for me, that doesn't really matter much, but that's how you actually buy the stock. So let's say that I want to buy one share of Apple. I would type in one. I would click review order. You will then end up on this screen where you click send by order. Now, I don't want to buy Apple and the market is currently closed, so I won't do this. But if you click, that's when you actually buy the stock through a market order. Now, that's how you can buy an individual stock. However, you can also invest into ETFs on this platform, which is what I'm doing myself. ETFs are designed to track the performance of a particular index, sector, commodity or other asset, and they allow you to buy a broad portfolio of assets for a single investment. So when you buy an ETF, essentially, you're not just buying into one company, but depending on what that ETF exists out of, you're buying into a couple dozen hundred whatever companies. A great example is the S&P 500, which I'm investing in myself as well. If I go to my portfolio, you can see that I've got 123 shares of the S&P 500 ETF. The S&P 500, in this case, tracks the performance of the 500 largest publicly traded companies in the US. So when you buy the S&P 500 ETF, the exchange fund, you buy into the 500 most valuable companies in the US at once. So you don't need to buy 500 individual stocks, but instead you're buying a little bit of 500 companies at the same time. Now, on average, the S&P 500 ETF gets you a return of around 8% per year, which you can see as well with the graph. It is going up quite nicely. Now, if you were to buy that, once again, it's the exact same process. So you figure out the ticker, for example, for this one, I can go VUSA, which is the Vanguard USA S&P 500. Now, I can buy this once again on the London Stock Exchange, which I've done, or for example, in Amsterdam or Swiss. Now, I'm going to buy this on the London Stock Exchange. So I click on this and then once again, you just click buy. And then once again, same process as I've just showed you. So that is how you can buy stocks, ETFs, whatever it is. Simply go to search, find the one that you want to buy using the ticker, and then you can just buy it. Let me now show you how you can sell a stock. So I actually own quite a lot of S&P 500, so I can click sell right here. And then once again, I can sell this at market value, or I can sell this at a different price that I want to set myself at which I want to sell. So with market, I can just list all of my shares and then sell it at the current market price, which I can do by clicking there and then sending it. I'm not going to do that because I'm not interested in selling that as of right now. But if you want to click the send sell order button and that's it, you've just sold your stocks. However, if you want to sell this at a certain price, you can, for example, list this at um, 82. And then as soon as it hits 82 pounds, in my case, it will actually sell all of your stocks. It's as simple as that. Now, the money from selling your stocks will then be found back in your account value, and it will probably change from portfolio into your free funds. Now, let's say that you've just sold a few stocks or maybe you need money back into your bank account. 
How do you do that? It's actually quite simple. You go to the free lines in the bottom right corner, just like that. You click on manage funds and then you click withdraw in the top right corner, put in your passport, etc., and then simply click withdraw. Pretty straightforward, no hassle whatsoever. And then finally, once you've bought all the stuff that you like and you've been investing quite a while, you can click on the pie icon, which is the second from left right there. And that's where you can see your portfolio. So my investment is up by 2.78%. So that's nice to see. So you can see the historical graph of your investment simply by doing this. You can then also scroll down and you'll see everything that you own. I just own two ETFs on this account which is the S&P 500 and the All World ETF. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, you will see the allocation. Now that is basically what your portfolio is made up of. So I have the S&P 500 and the All World ETF. That's it for my investment account here. So quite simple, but if I would have Apple stock, Amazon, Tesla, etc., they would also show up right there. Now, if you'd like to see my investment strategy and what I'll be doing on the Trading 212 platform, let me know in the comments down below, subscribe to the channel for more investment content, and then I will see you in the next video.